hello everyone today we are going to implement this call elevator switches so now pay attention here this button is green and this button is red green means we can interact with this because the elevator is at the bottom now as you can see here and if i press e if i press e here now elevator comes so we can get on it and the button became red because we can no longer activate it, uh, it or press it because the elevator is already at the top so if i now enter this now again you see but that button became green and this is red because the elevator is already here okay so now if i enter here and when it starts moving if i jump or down elevator goes up and if i press call elevator you see button became red and elevator is coming down and we can enter it and again we can move up so yeah that's what we are going to work on today so this is a procedural system that means you can have uh, any height for the elevator you can define the bottom and top as it fits with your level design so before we get started with the tutorial i'd like to remind you that you can access project files of all the projects that i have done in my channel in the patreon page for the membership so at the moment they are uh, up to date i have done more than 1600 videos and project files of all 1600 videos can be accessed here okay so this is the simple model that i have created in blender and i'm going to import this and use as the switch to call the elevator i'm going to put one in the bottom and one in the top side so no matter where the player starts player can call the elevator to use it so here let me export this as an fpx elevator switch forward x z up i don't need to smooth it so face that's all now import the model right here is the model uh, is it too big <laughs> oh yeah it's too big but we can fix it is it too small now yeah yeah just right let's see the scale with player okay good enough now i'll assign the same color as the lift so i'm lift as this color and this is m light so this material this should be msu material like this because it's a light msu Maybe not that much. Okay, that looks good enough. Uh, I'll change this light color. Okay, now this is not the way we need it. Let me open the lift blueprint or elevator blueprint whatever you call it 
and add this mesh I'll add it on the left bottom in a location like this and the lift top let me duplicate elevate i'll call this switch button and duplicate this switch top this i will Reset mm, not exactly here, a little bit uh, like this. Let's see. Yeah, placement is okay, maybe a bit more. All right, now see here also we see two switches to call the elevator okay let me remove this for now and now uh, this is what I need to happen so if we are if the elevator is already in the bottom this button should become red that means it's we can't activate it because this is already here but if it is on the top that means here if we start from here the button should remain green so we can go here press E then it should become red and the elevator should move up that's what I want to do okay so in the begin play if is set bottom so we need to set the color of the lifts uh, I mean bottom switch so I'll add a function activate switches and then we need two colliders here box collision like this switch collider Get add to the top switch collider top. Okay, now here uh, let me get the switch bottom and switch collider so first switch bottom uh, we need to set this light color parameter let me copy that set material okay parameter set vector parameter value on materials so parameter name is light color so we need to select 
two colors let me use this color linear color to vector okay now here we can define a color so for the color i let like us select color option based on this value so if we are at bottom this is switch bottom so that we should not be able to interact with that bottom that bottom switch so this should simply be red because it's not going to activate otherwise i'll make it green similarly uh, and also set collision enabled for this uh, collider again select based on this value so if this is true that means no collision that means we sh we are not going to interact with the button if it is true collision enables enabled this one okay now we need to do the same thing but for the other one other collider oh, wait control d but it's opposite condition and this should be replaced can we see place now instead of switch bottom switch top and instead of collide bottom collide top and these conditions should be reverted no not because if it is not at bottom that means it is top it is at top so it should be deactivated otherwise activated similarly not okay now if I the begin play I'll call activate buttons activate switches not buttons okay now the bottom one should become red when I play see it is red can't see the top it is green so now here there should be a notification press e to call elevator something like that and when i press e it should move up um okay so for that we first we need uh, we need a uh, widget WDG uh, instruction here yeah, let's add a canvas panel and a text let's anchor it to the bottom 
alignment 0.5 and 1 so if I make it 0 it would be here so I let place it in a location like this and here somewhere like this press no call elevator e that kind of uh, instruction should be there and it should be centered so i'll set size to 400 by 50 well, it seems good enough and I'll wrap this with the border a black border little bit of a transparent okay um, nice oh, what if I make it sized content oh better uh, but better to have some padding so 10 yeah much better so let's add a function here a custom event set text let me mark this um, instruction as a variable so we can set it set text let's pass this as a parameter now here in the begin play also I'll add let's create widget using WDG instruction and then is it necessary to give this let's promote this to a parameter WTG instruction and then set text so the text should be called elevator e. so the reason I promoted this as a parameter is because now you can customize this to whatever you want even if I kept it by default as call elevator for this case it's fine but if you want to have maybe a different name or maybe when you go here press jump button press a space to zip line press a space to climb ladder if you want to do something like that you can use the same widget so that's why i created this event okay now when do we show this here on component begin overlap for switch collider bottom and switch collider top so we also need to make sure the other player the actor who is over overlapping 
is the player because just because someone else is overlapping we should not show the instruction but how Yeah, I'll add a blueprint interface BPI player and here we already have a function I'll call it is player and as an output I'll add a boolean is player now here in this class character class i'll implement it bpi player now here you have under interfaces his player so here i'll simply return the value of his player controlled since this is a pawn we already have this function but here we can't access it because here we get a reference to actor so if we had a pawn reference we could use is player control but we don't but now we can use is player through this interface event we just implemented okay now if this is true we can add to viewport we can add this instruction to viewport so it will become visible for the player press c we need to do the same thing for the bottom Collide as well. So we just we duplicate that. okay um similarly on this is on component begin overlap on component end overlap we need to do a similar thing But this time, well, let me replicate this macro and I'll call it hide widget. So if this is true, instead of adding to viewport, is in viewport. We need to check, otherwise, if I try to remove, I think we get a warning if this is already in the viewport we can go remove from parent okay and we need to call it all right now 
let's test so this is red so we don't get the notification that is correct here we showed if it is working correctly yeah call elevator now if i press c nothing happens because well i haven't implemented that yet so um here uh, uh let me rename this to because inside this i'm gonna enable inputs as well so check layer well check and disable input check and enable because it doesn't matter for the code but we should be clear of what we are doing so here if this is true enable input and get player controller here remove from parent And also disable input. Get player control. Okay. Mm. No. key e. i want to get the key event e i don't want to set up a separate input action so i'll just use e and if i press e we basically need to call the elevator and we already have the uh, elevator moment logic here but it's attached to this begin overlap. Mm -hmm. Let's do something. First term event move elevator and Let's collapse this. Elevator. And here I'll simply call move elevator. So when I press E, more elevator. Okay. Shall we test? It's coming. Uh, also, now when we press, we should change the color. Right. And also, when we move, we need to update the 
status of the switches too for that mm -hmm. here activate switches I'll give this as an input I'll call it at bottom. So instead of this, I'll use. Uh, I have already collect, connected this one. At bottom. The reason I used it like this is now here and the begin play I simply call uh, pass is at bottom to activate switches now when I call move elevator I need to update the switches so therefore I'll call that Activate switches with the not of is at bottom because we if we were already at the top and we are calling the elevator from the top even if the elevator is still at bottom we need to turn off the top switch and turn on the bottom switch So once I press C, this should become red, see, and the bottom one became green. Um, oh, call elevator sign also vanished because I disabled the collider, which is a good thing. Right. Now if I simply walk here it starts to move down but after moving down we also need to update the switches because this is still green and that's not the way it should be it should become red so for that i'll oh, wait instead of calling it here what if I do that in here? This should still work, and also it should resolve the problem of updating the switch state when we start moving. And once it starts to move down, this should again become gray. See? Just like I said. Okay. So, yeah. Alright. That should be enough for today but just let me test one last time the other one also it should work it's the same thing let's see elevator is coming okay all right it's working and we can stop this episode right here
nice. So thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download in Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.